Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to talk about the Froyo update that is finally out for the Samsung Fascinate. It came out yesterday, so if you haven't received it yet, go ahead and turn on your phone, unlock it, go to your menu here, go to settings, scroll down to about phone, system updates, and check new. You should see it pop up. It will take a little bit to download and then install, and then you'll have the update. Now let's first start by saying uh, Froyo brings a lot of changes, but not all the changes everybody wants. Uh, we'll talk about that more in a moment. But first let's talk about what it does add. It adds support for Adobe Flash 10.1, and we can see that by going to Adobe Flash. It will take a moment to load. I'm on 3G right now. I don't have it on Wi-Fi. And what you'll see on the top here is it will actually load Flash, and there we go. So it does work. It also improves browser speed when it comes to Java and things like that. Uh, if I go to Zolotech here, and we'll go to uh, Zolotech.com, and it should load. And it does improve browser speed. It does feel a little bit quicker in the little time that I've used it. Uh, it also allows you to voice search the web using Bing. If we tap and hold the search button, we can say search for Froyo and see what it says since I was talking during it. But you can voice search with Bing. I have not found an option to, to search using Google voice. Unfortunately, they don't have Google in here, and I don't mean Google Voice, I mean the actual uh, search engine Google. I can't find the option to actually switch it. Now, if you do know where that is, and I'm missing it, I've looked through every place and I wasn't able to find it. If you do know where that is, please uh, let us know in the comments below. Now, let's talk about the email and messaging. Email now has features to move messages between folders in Exchange Mail uh, with ease. I don't use Exchange, but that should be pretty self-explanatory. You can also easily delete all messages in your sent and trash folders with Exchange email without being prompted to close the application. Again, another thing I actually haven't used myself, but may be helpful to others. And when using Swipe, it will now complete sentences properly with the proper use of upper and lowercase letters. Now, dialed calls actually display correctly within the dialer application now. Specifically, I'm not sure what that means, uh, but some of you may know, so let me know what, if you had issues before. We also have a option to press the speaker button. Uh, we'll activate speakerphone when you're connected with a Bluetooth, Bluetooth device. Uh, you can also turn on the backlight when the phone is mounted in a car dock, and it will no longer activate the speakerphone. And it also improves voice commands uh, to accu accurately search by name and number, things like that. So there's a lot of little bug fixes that come with this update, uh, as well as some GPS stuff that's not listed in the Verizon uh, update, but supposedly it does uh, fix that. Samsung Media Hub is preloaded. Vcast apps are now preloaded. Uh, feeds and update widget improvements, uh, they have some things where it actually updates more quickly. I don't really have anything set up right there. And it also has color and text scheme in the calendar uh, improvements. So there isn't a ton of other things that I've noticed. I have noticed some significant speed improvements. Things feel a little bit snappier and quicker and don't seem to have any issues there. But I just kind of wanted to go over those updates quickly. There isn't a ton to go over other than what uh, what's already been mentioned according to Verizon. Like I said, I wasn't able to find that Google feature that I really wanted for navigation and that sort of thing. So if you're able to find that and I'm just missing it somewhere, please let me know in the, the uh, comments below. Otherwise, uh, we'll have to wait for that in a future update. If you haven't uh, subscribed to this channel already, I appreciate it. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.